Hello, how's it going everybody? Mark here and today You guys have these C4 Skittles, they are delicious All right, so I remember the days when you had to go into Photoshop and you had to do a lot of cloning and all this extra stuff to be able to get people out of your pictures or you want to remove something or an object or someone you don't like. Now, it's just getting crazy. It's getting super simple now. It's so simple that you can just go into Lightroom now and remove people or objects in your photos. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on an iPad. Lightroom mobile version. iPad Air is what I use. All my photo needs is you're gonna open the Lightroom app. Side note, you will need the pro version of Lightroom to be able to use this function. My wife took this picture of me uh, in Death Valley. This is gonna be a super simple uh, removal. So I'm gonna remove myself from this image here. So I'm just gonna zoom in just a tad bit. You're gonna click the healing button and then you can click the remove and you can go to clone, heal, or remove. So for this, we're gonna click remove and then we're gonna kind of move our brush size and see where we want to go and how big we want to go. Which, right there is fine. We're just gonna highlight me. You can do this with your finger or if you have the Apple Pen. And see how simple that was? So now we're just gonna zoom in a little more, bring the brush, uh, brush, the little brush size down. That way we can make these fine details here right there and then you can kind of go see how there's dark blue spots and little shadows and kind of go over those again and Lightroom is just automatically doing it for you and then we zoom back out and you can see there are well let's go back you can see these little shadows here kind of dark blue you can keep doing that a few times just to get them out or you can click on over to the clone and then we can highlight those shadows and then we'll just clone that side or you can move this and move it around to the color that you really need hit done done now look at that we are all out of the image simple as that what didn't even take two minutes so that is how you can quickly remove somebody or something uh, out of your photos with Lightroom. All right, now I'm gonna pop up this image. This is from uh, Angel's Landing. There's a lot of people on this trail here. So if we just zoom in, we're gonna do the same thing. While there's more, there's a lot more detail, but you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hit the remove brush size. We're gonna figure, we're gonna move out around to your liking and we're just gonna highlight this guy here and he's gone then we're gonna do a shadow and I'm gonna assume that's his wife and they're gone and then we'll just do these little bitty adjustments here just like so and like I said Lightroom's doing the work for you and these are just little adjustments. If you want to go in and clone and put, say, the cracks and line the cracks up, uh, you can. Um, but we can keep moving around so those aren't the same. And But once you zoom out, you're not even going to notice that they were there. Like, pretty crazy, right? And again, we can let's go to this guy so there's gonna be a lot more with this guy because there's more detail around him we can do this and that move that around a little bit and just like that simple as that so if I wanted to I could go around and make those uh, adjustments for the cracks line everything up uh, sometimes I get OCD with stuff and I'll end up doing that um, if we wanted to, we can go up here and knock these people out real quick. Uh, here. Sorry, ladies. But you're out of my photo. 
<laughs> so. And just like that. I mean, it's super simple. Super simple, and you again, you can make it as detailed uh, as you want, depending on how much time you want to spend on your photo. So if this video helped you, please consider liking and subscribing. Leave a comment below if you've tried these. These are really good. Uh, not a sponsor, but could be. Get in touch with me, C4. But if this helped you, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.